as of 7.04 p.m. on September 23rd in the year 2021. I am officially, literally, figuratively, grammatically, lyrically, the face of League of Legends. Undisputably, un arguably, I am literally the actual face of League of Legends. But how did he get here? Tyler is staying up. Tyler Stain Camp, Stain Camp, better known as Tyler One, was probably the last person you think would be the face of League if it was 2016, as that is the year that his account got banned permanently. But why did he get banned? Well, let's take a quick look at his past. But before we do, quick updates. I know that my mic quality is bad in the videos and I'm trying to fix it. The thing is, I actually have a good mic, but my PC sounds like a jet engine trying to take off. So by playing around with the audio and eliminating the buzzing sound, it also reduces the audio quality. So if anyone has any tips on how I can fix this issue, please let me know in the comments below. Also the Yasuo video is on 130k plus views and I can't thank you all enough for the kind words in the comments. Now on to the video. My name is Tyler One. Yo. My husband is yes, yo. Yo. Uh huh. He told me everything. He was born on March 7th, 1995, in Misery, and even though his early life is a bit of a mystery, we do know that he liked playing American football in university. Tyler created his Twitch account in 2013 and would stream League of Legends. He quickly became known for his skill with Draven, but also his toxicity in game, like flaming his teammates and running down mid, and for that reason, he would often find his account getting banned. This wasn't a big deal for him, as he would just make another account until he couldn't. On April 2016, Tyler One would receive an ID ban in League meaning he was perma-banned from ever playing the game on any accounts. This meant uh, every time he would create another account and Riot found out it was him using it, it would be instantly banned. I don't know, I don't know where I'm gonna go, guys. From, from here, you know. Uh, sad day, guys. Sad day. Let's not lie, boys. We all saw it coming. All of us. Me. You. Twitch, Riot, my family, my dog. Hey, cucked by Riot, but not Riot Girl. Keep sure, I, I can't stream League anymore, guys. I'll be banned um, as soon as I see my account. Now, will I quit playing League? No, I won't quit playing League. Um, but I'm not going to be able to stream it. This was something everyone knew was coming, but it was shocking nonetheless. His ban quickly became known throughout the League community. As he couldn't stream League anymore, Tyler started branching out to variety streaming. From cooking videos to Overwatch, Outlast, and his Coach Tyler 1 series, he experimented with his content and his fans liked it. Just by looking at the views and like the dislike ratio, you can clearly see that the people are watching him because of who he is, not the game he's playing. He stopped being as toxic and wanted to prove to Riot and the world that he can and has changed. That he's reformed. Oh, 
His fans started the Free Teller One trend, and his name soon became known to all over the internet. And that trend would soon pay off. He would continue to stream variety until the fated day of January 4th, 2018, when he would officially be unbanned from League 613 days after getting his ID banned. He broke the viewership record in his comeback stream as he had 386,000 viewers watching that stream. Everyone at this point heard the name Tyler1, even if they weren't in the league community. For the first week or two, the enemy team would be banning Draven to try and provoke him to rage and tilt, but it didn't work. He would just pick Vayne and dominate the enemy team. Sit here and ban Draven and take that fucking the, the dick from Vayne? Come on, dumbass. GG easy. That is not. God, I'm so clean on this fucking champion. I'm not a one trick and people ban me like I am. This fucking respectful. He would continue to stream League while also doing other League related things like broadcasting games at TwitchCon. He kept uploading League content doing things such as the 10k bet he had with Yasuo, playing ranked, and participating in Twitch Rivals. As he kept making content, his name and videos would spread, eventually finding their way into the meme review where PewDiePie would comment on them, as he was considered the biggest YouTuber at the time, and still is by many. It was, and I quote, kind of a big deal. Teacher, what sound does the cow make? Special Ed Kids 322. I win! <laughs> I love how there's no context to this whatsoever. <laughs> I don't I don't watch Tyler, but I only see him in, in the context of this. So he just seems like the craziest. This is great. I have a great perception of this streamer. <laughs> Wait, he knows who I am. Wait, he knows who I am though. He says, I don't watch Tyler, but... Wait, he knows me. Hey! We can dab to that. I can, I can give a fucking dab. He knows me. People were starting to notice that Tyler1 isn't as toxic as he was before. Sure, he still has anger issues and honestly, I don't know if they'll ever change. He's coming! He's coming! Shut up! Ah! Run! Ah! First person, first person! Stop it! He gave me! Ah! <laughs> Dude, reload! Reload! Rick, I swear I'll hurt you bad, dude. Huh? You hear me? Stop backseat gaming. <gasps> <laughs> Shut up! Shut the fuck up in the background! You backseat gaming scrub! Shut your fucking mouth! I'm gonna have a heart attack. But 
you can see that he's putting in the effort not to be as toxic as he used to be. And Riot would notice that as well. He started his road to hit Challenger in every role, starting with jungle, then top, mid and lastly support. To hit Challenger in jungle, it would take him 1800 games and 4 months. Support would take him only 450 games and top and mid would be completed in 2021. After he hit Challenger on mid, Riot would change their Twitter profile picture and he would officially become the face of League of Legends. It took him 2 years to hit Challenger on every role and to prove to everyone that the impossible is possible. Riot had no options but to applaud such success and that's why they sent him custom Challenger medals for every role he hit top rank. Even if you're the biggest T1 hater, you have to admit that what he did is impressive. He proved to the world that he can change and that he can do anything he sets his mind to. He went from the most hated player, bearing the nickname of most toxic player on NA, to being face of league. He truly is alpha as fuck.